<laughs> so it's bedtime here. We go to bed early. It's like eight something, I think. And all the kids are getting ready for bed out here. The cats are already asleep, so if I go in there to talk to them, I will only get I will only get looks of disdain. I'm used to that. I have 28 cats. That's normal. So you can see that we are uh, we're in rainy season. Please note the laundry. Yeah. Because what happens is we try to put laundry out during the day, but then um, when it goes from bright and sunny to um, raining, pardon the expression, cats and dogs, um, we, 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 can't, we, we can't put our laundry out to dry. So laundry is always a fine challenge. We also have a lot of big projects coming up, and we're interested in trying to find some volunteers that are like super handy. Yeah, because we've got a lot of administrative work to do, and so we're not really able to kind of kick on with some of the more physical projects. So if somebody's really trying to get their hands dirty, then we've got a, we've got a lot of options. So here's some of, our, some of our choices. You probably cannot read any of my handwriting. This was written in a panic. Because I was like, oh my god, we have so many things to do. On top of that, we're going room by room to um, redo some of the um some of the, some of the the work that needs to be done in there let me show you the the room of disdain the cats all hating me because i just turned all the lights on okay so we've got situations where we've got kind of big chunks of walls taken out like this right they need to be replastered and we've got uh broken windows and you know all sorts of things that just constantly like we're we're just in a state of disrepair we've been here i signed our fourth lease a month ago and it's like you know they've got lots of you know look everybody's happy it's clean it's organized and you know kitties aren't aren't upset we've got julian has decided to sleep with the cats so i don't know how well you can see him out there he's not small he's the very large pink thing on the on the cement blocking the door and so, so if anybody's super handy, lives in Hoi An Dang area, and wants to come out and bang out some projects, it'd be great. And we're about to have to basically replace our entire septic system. Um, this has been an ongoing problem since basically we moved in, and it's going to be a, probably a very large expense. At the same time, they're going to have to probably rip up a lot of things. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> It's a nightmare so um so we're gonna we're just gonna deal with it as it comes we're used to a lot of maintenance issues look at all these beautiful happy kittens yes and they are very important to us and um so is living in a house with functioning drains and toilets you know um unfortunately i know everybody wants to put their dollars into into bags of dog food um, but so those bags of dog food don't really count if we can't actually live in the building because we can't um, get water to go down the drains. So, so let's all keep that in mind that building maintenance is a huge deal. And just, you know, we're trying, like I said, we're trying to move to Hanoi in the next year and we're going to have to leave this building and there's going to be a lot of work to be done. So we kind of want to jump on it now and do it progressively over the next year. Um, as I go searching for properties, I'm going to Hanoi on Saturday, trying to get my bearings and, and settle in a little bit. And and I'll, you know, I'm only going for a week and then I'll be back. But um, you know, just trying to work out how do we? I don't know. It's come to a point people don't really understand that it's it's kind of like expand or die, which doesn't make any sense to a lot of people. It's an extremely risky solution. And um, I think if you know me personally, you know that, that there's really no other option. I mean, I live and breathe this. Every cell in my body says expand or die. And we're going to find a way to sustainably fund this and, and to, have this, to have this work out for these guys. Because, you know, they deserve it. Even the morbidly obese ones like Mumford, who is sitting there. And yeah, 
you're right. That is his stomach laying on the windowsill. I'm not kidding. That's like, it's embarrassing, but I love him. And he's like two armfuls of kitten. So anyway, we're gonna do all we can and I really hope you guys get on board and, and can help us. We're really still far behind in bills and you know, the reason I have to go to Hanoi is this, it's not gonna get any better here. Yeah, uh, we're in a small resort town in central Vietnam in which brain cells come to die. And um, I think until we get up to a place where people are a little more proactive in the animal rights movement and uh, just in general can, you know, are more interested in alliances and, um, you know, there's a greater vegan community. Oh gosh, those two words together, vegan community. Ah, flutter, a little flutter. So anyway, um, so just keep updating with what we're going, with what we're doing. Look at all of our happy kitties. Here's Cammy. Cammy's super cute. Elton is a little bit cross-eyed. Did you see that? He's just a little bit, a little bit cross-eyed. But they're all really happy, and we're gonna make them happy in another location because we have to get the funding to keep them alive and we're going to start working on on for-profit aspects of of building this into a social enterprise so that we can sustain their lives and still get back into doing consulting for other rescues i don't think we're ever going to be doing um the level of intake that we had before um, simply because we just don't have the veterinary capacity and I'd rather spend my time, energy, experience, and education working on building the veterinary capacity of this country um, rather than building one individual clinic that can help only thousands of animals a year as opposed to tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of animals per year. Um, so let's work on that. Let's work on, let's work on Vietnam helping Vietnam. That's my gig. So, uh, so please, please help us catch up. Just to catch up would be amazing. I told my landlord I'd finish paying rent um, uh, October 1st. And if I'm sitting here thinking about Halloween costumes, we know that we're way past um, October 1st. Yeah, so um, salaries are due really soon. No idea where that's gonna come from. We live day to day on the animal food at this point. Whatever we get in for that day is what we can buy. And they're all really well fed, especially, I mean, come on, seriously. You can't find a skinny animal in this building. If anything, we have an obesity issue that I need to seriously address. But, um, jump in, jump in, yeah? Look at this one. Huh, Mumford? Comfort is so great, I want to pick him up and squish him, but he's too heavy to hold and have a phone. Anyway, I'll let you guys know how Hanoi goes. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much for all you generous donors who have kept this going all this time. I know it's been hard to watch our roller coaster. Probably almost as hard as living it. Ah. <sighs> <clears throat> but we kick on because we know why we do it, yeah? So, um, when you see what we see, when you live what we live, you don't stop. So, talk soon. Thanks again.